Now this video will focus on monetary equilibrium and monetary policy. So here we have monetary equilibrium and you can see that the blue line is the money supply and the red line, the red curve is the money demand. Now the point at where we cross or the point at where we intersect, this we will call I bar. I bar. And what I bar is, is I bar is something that we call the equilibrium, equilibrium. interest rate and so you know that this intersection uh, is the equilibrium interest rate now on the horizontal what we call this is uh, money bar and money bar is uh, as you can uh, as you can guess is something we call the equilibrium money equilibrium money and this is pretty much uh, what I want to show you about the monetary equilibrium that we have MS as the, the static uh, blue line and MD as the curve. Now monetary policy is pretty much uh, all you need to know for monetary policy for this introductory uh, economics course is that uh, monetary policy is a central bank's policy in affecting output or why. Now, an expansionary monetary policy and contractionary po monetary policy is what I want you to know right now to introduce you to these concepts. And so what happens in an expansionary monetary policy is actually that the money supply increases and our interest rate decreases. And in a contractionary monetary policy, the opposite happens. Monetary money supply uh, decreases and interest rates interest rate increases now just uh two notes about uh two notes about these two policy before i wrap it up is that when uh when our output goes up or when money supply increases and interest rate decreases then the output would go up and we have more demand and that makes sense because interest rate uh, decreases mean people would actually borrow and they would uh, use that uh, borrowing to increase output and pretty much uh, people get more rich and um, well, pretty much demand will uh, increase as well. Now, in contractionary monetary policy, why? Uh, because of these two things, because of money supply going down and interest rates going up, uh, output actually goes down, output goes down goes down and there is less demand and that is the exact opposite of uh, what we just discussed about uh, why going up and there being more demand interest rates goes up then you have to pay more of your money to interest you have uh, your your income or output they drop and then you have less to spend and that's why you have less demand and that's all I want to talk about in this video and I'll see you in the next video when we discuss this further uh, please rate comment and subscribe